Hey everybody, how you doing today? Well, today we're going back to the uh, fence gate job. Um, I'm going to be working on that pergola and do a little demo. And um, just took care of the dogs. There's Mr. Charlie hanging out. Hey, Mr. Charlie. What you doing, buddy? Huh? You got to go inside because Papa got to go to work. You understand? What do you got there? I, you're sleepy, sleepy head? That's Mr. Charlie, the Mastiff uh, mix. Um, just fed him. The other one's out back. Also, I got over here. I need this trailer. I took a load up to the uh, dump. I got another load here. But anyway, so that's what we got going on, guys. Just been, uh, it's been busy, busy. So let's hit the road. And I'll see you up there. Hey okay, guys, we're here, and uh, here's the material. We're putting on. We got two by sixes by twelve, and one by four by twelves. And we're gonna go on top of the pergola. Also, I have the Flexo there. Not a sponsor. Um, brand new. It was a gift from one of my uh, customers. Um, really, really cool dude. And um, so let's take a walk in the back and uh, let's see what we got going on back here. This was the uh, house that I did the, um, sorry about the, uh, the air conditioners. These things are running 24 seven. And we got, remember the scrap here? The big old post fencing and the gate. She said she was going to get me a couple of screws for that. I was missing one, one screw. I think she has it because she went to the fire. And, um, but anyway, we're going to be staining this up. And I'm pretty confident this was kind of dry when I first got it. So I'm good with that gate. Works beautiful. Let's see. Let's see what the nice even reveal. Okay, great. Looking good. I might even paint these for them. If I get around to it. Anyway, let's take another walk back here further. And this is what we're going to be working on. Uh, let me turn this camera around. Take a look. Okay. And you can see up there, that one split. Another one split. Two. Three. Four. At least four of them. I know I got nine of them. Probably split on the other side, the other. She gave me a count of nine that she wanted to replace. This looks here like somebody was staining and they stopped there. <laughs> they have lights here and they have a solar light there. So, and guess what? There's wires running on the top of these things. So we gotta be careful with that. So I guess I'm gonna just start here. Pop a couple of these off and see how easy they come off. They might be ring shank nails in there. I'm not sure. Looks like nails. Hopefully they won't be ring shank. If they're ring shank, I mentioned to them the possibility that I might have to replace all the rafters. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not spending another 400. <laughs> With good reason, right? I think we've got one nail here that's loose. Oh. So they used a nail gun. And I don't even think that these are galvanized. That's probably the cause of all this rotting. So we'll see if we can pop these out. I think we might be okay. All right, let me set you down. Let's see what we... Uh, let me get some gloves. Because, uh... I already got a little nick there. Maybe I'll fight a bow, maybe I'll walk. Hey, get my gloves on.
take a look. See how bad this is? Let me show you real quick how bad it is. I don't even want to I don't even want to lean on it. You see it? It's all falling apart. All right. And what they did was they use they use nails. Now Look, they just pull right up. They pull right up. Look at that. I'm gonna come apart. I'm gonna finish getting these battens up. Hopefully the dog will calm down. You hear him back there? Let me get a tarp. I gotta be ready if he comes through that fence. They got two of them. They got a pit bull and a, and a Roddy. Rottweiler. Um, the owner told me that they did go through one time. But he's got treats inside. But I'm not the owner and I don't have any treats. <laughs> They'll probably chew my leg. Anyway, just to be ready for him. Let me, uh, let me finish knocking these, uh, well, I call them decorative battens. side done these are all out and uh gonna work work our way back this way and uh don't get nervous guys um i used to do this for a living i was uh i did demolition uh commercial um three-story four-story buildings and we used to break out cast iron tubs slide them right out the window third floor right into the dumpster fourth floor right into the dumpster so uh there was one that came close to me but my fear is uh believe it or not it's the bees and um the nails like let me see if i can show you a piece okay come over here with me you know see this this right here will get you see that so that's my uh that's my fear right there stepping on a nail I don't have steel shank even in my boots I got boots and I don't have steel shank you just got to be aware where uh, 
where you step and be aware of the bees <laughs> I got the spray there was yellow jackets over there and I think I saw one over here so um, but one time I was working on a roof and um, I'm making a lot of noise here even the dog next door is getting uh, all excited you know and I gotta watch out for him but I was working on a roof and um, um, all I was doing was painting and just with the brush strokes and I had a swarm of bees 20 30 bees come after me just because the the, the, the brushing of the brush um, activated them and they were like they were on me I had to I, I wanted to jump but I didn't jump but I ran over to the other side of the uh, other side of the roof but you know it's kind of sketchy because you now you're not watching your step you just want to get away from them uh, they got me a couple times so but that's what we got to watch out for anyway right now you see how they're kind of like buzzing by me Morning everybody back up to the pergola uh, wearing light clothes today is gonna be another hot I think uh, 87 what the weather called for um, I got plenty of drinks water I got uh, the, uh, a little sun hat there. anyway let me get up there and uh, we'll see how it goes today all right guys sun is out beaming right on me already um i think he made a new web already what do you know here's the web i don't know if you can see it i didn't see him i knocked him off into the grass and i should have relocated him so he might just find his way right back up here but anyway today i'm going to take care of these nails i don't know if you can see them up there uh, a lot of nails and screws and uh, they use regular nails they didn't use galvanized nails they used the nail gun with regular nails which caused a lot of the a lot of the rot you know i'm going to pull out nails and screws they got regular nails in there they're not even galvanized that's why all it caused all this damage um and they got screws in there regular screws not even um um, decking screws or anything like that so that's where all the damage came from but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take down all the rafters that I'm gonna replace because it makes no sense pulling all nails out on everything um, if I'm gonna replace them anyway so um, yeah that's what we'll do
five split. Okay, enough for the playing around. Um, first thing, when I carry these 12 foot long 2x6s, 2x8, see if I can show you. Put your arm all the way up and over. It gives you the muscle to hold it. And it won't be leaning on your neck bone or your shoulder bone. And when you drop them down, just roll it. Next thing we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna check crown. I check the bottom ones. Always check your crown. This way. Okay. One more to crown. That's our crown. Crowns are going this way. Crown is going up this way, so our tails are up this way. Here we go. Follow that pattern. And if you don't want to forget, just put an arrow on it. Like that. That's your crown. Cut all this side over here. I'm gonna cut one, throw it up there, try it out, make sure that it works the same size as the other one, and then we're just gonna cut them off. See. I'm gonna cut one, put it up there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work good. But you always want to double check because we got a lot of money invested in these things. Let's see.
Been a little jig, this side up. So, side up here. I will flip it over on the other side. Okay guys, all the bird mounts are done, and uh, let me show you real quick. This side, all done, over here, uh, this side all done, crowns are all up this way, and uh, man, hot one today, stay hydrated, this is what I do, stay hydrated. Gatorade, frozen Gatorade, frozen water, you know, and power bars. Thanks to my girlfriend. Thank you, home, for the power bars. They do help, give you energy. Um, anyway, uh, whoa, well, while I'm here talking about Gatorade and water, uh, let me give a shout out to all you subscribers. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, shout out to my son out there in California. Love you, kid. Uh, he's 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 taking the ride along with me and doing the construction stuff and the handyman stuff. I think he's more in the construction. I'm a handyman. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching Mad Skills Channel. Shout out to uh, uh, did I say all you subscribers? Yeah, I did. Uh, shout out to you guys all again, all my subscribers, and all you that watch my channel um, yeah and uh, shout out to everybody else my family grandkids my daughter my son love y'all and uh, let's throw these raptors up okay pull a couple of nails up there and I'm gonna show you a trick back in the day my boss Michael Rank from Rank Builders. Shout out to Mike. He was an architect and a builder. I worked for him for about eight years. Really, really good guy. Smart guy. Take a two by four. Your hammer. 
grab that nail, pull up. Use the board as your leverage. I gotta move the ladder so I'm not like directly underneath it. I can't get a good angle when I'm directly underneath it. So, uh, but I'm gonna get this side, then I'm gonna come move the ladder over here. I gotta finish screwing this off. But anyway, there they are. I think there's one more here, but I'm not gonna put this one up just yet um, because I might double up on that one. I might sister that because all the bolts and the, the bracing here, um, if you look at them, some of them are in bad shape. And if I start messing around with that and taking it apart, they're gonna, look, it's all cracking. So the best thing, I'm gonna talk to the owner, 
probably that one over here. I'll trim it. You can see it. I'll trim it and then sister one on there. But anyway, that's it for today. I gotta I gotta pick up some of these uh we are here. Anyway, let me show you what I got going on. Okay. You've seen it. So this is what I got done so far. So it looks like I'm going to replace two more here. In bad shape. And then over here, we're going to take this fan down. And I'm going to replace all of these down to where the double beam is. Those two have to stay because I don't know if you, I showed you it's already starting to split and whatnot and I don't want to redo all this this here otherwise their next option was to take down the pergola we don't want to do that so we're going to replace the outside beam replace two more here and replace probably everything here so the fan's got to come down I'm going to have to do some uh I'm gonna have to rip that electrical down. I don't know if I'm gonna just take it down with the block and swing it over. We'll take the bulbs off or take it down completely and then rewire it. That's gonna be a, I'm trying to keep the cost down for them. They just wanted to replace all the rotted uh, rafters. But uh, the more you do, the more you find. And that's where we're at everybody first of all i want to thank you for watching my video and uh what you can see back here got a big old stump that i dug out the ground over there i burned it cut it dug it out everything anyway um as i was doing that for the last couple of days i was thinking about my video and i'm gonna have to split this video into two parts make sure that you watch part two um it's gonna be uh it gets really good because um, there was a lot of things that we were finding out as we went along and you know how it goes so as I was taking the pergola apart I found the uh, outside rim uh, beam was rotted also so we had to um, kind of uh, change the plan and I went ahead and changed everything and uh, you're gonna see it in the next video it gets pretty exciting because um, I start as as you know, I already put some of the, the uh, rafters up, so now I had to take them apart and redo the outside. You know, the job got bigger, and um, um, so I got a lot of clips, and uh, so I decided to split it into two clips, uh, two videos, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but anyway, like I was uh, saying, I got the stump over here dug out, cut it down, dug it out, burned it. Got these two guys over here playing around. Hey guys. <laughs> they're not fighting, they're just playing. They love each other. You know, he's got, he's more, he's a bigger dog. Mr. Charlie over here, he's a bigger dog. But he's more like a, he's got Mastiff in him, so he's more like a guardian dog. She's more of a strong dog. Uh, so don't let a little her size fool you. She's very strong. All right, guys, cut it out. You go that way. They listen. You go that way, and you chill. <laughs> anyway, guys, if uh, if you watch this video, you got to make sure you watch part two because it gets a little bit more involving and more exciting. And uh, um, I had to do some more adjusting and like I said thank you for watching like share comment okay uh, good or bad comment and subscribe if you want all right and I will see you at the next video part two of this video cool hang in there